Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether you should use account numbers in your chart of accounts. So let's get started. To start off, we need to understand what the chart of accounts is. The chart of accounts is the foundation of your accounting. So think of it as building blocks. Without a good foundation, your whole financial block can come crumbling down. So it's important that you have the correct chart of accounts, a clean chart of accounts. Now, in order to access your chart of accounts, you go to accounting on the left-hand side and chart of accounts. Now this is a sample company file, so we'll take a look at their chart of accounts. As you can see, they have set up many different accounts. Now this company has is not using account numbers. Now many prefer to use them, many do not. Many just like to do it this way. I personally like to use numbers and I will show you why. If we go back to the reporting, one of the biggest things for me um, as a bookkeeper is the way, first of all, I like to have a nice clean chart of accounts um, list. Have the foundation set so you can record your income and expenses correctly. Now, when, I, when it comes to reporting, I like to see clean reports. To me, without these numbers, I mean, I can see all these, but it's kind of just, a little bit all over the place for me. There is no structure. Um, I know that there's income, there's cost of goods, there are expenses, but it's just a little bit all over the place. Um, let me show you one that has account numbers so you could see the difference. This company uses account numbers. Now, do you see how clean it looks? We have the income, we have the cost of goods, we have the expenses, and if you go down, I mean, I can easily look at certain things. I know where certain accounts are. It's just so much easier to see um, and to analyze than not having account numbers. And that's one of the reasons why I like using numbers in my chart of accounts. So if you would like to use account numbers or numbers, I'm going to show you how to activate it. So you go to, let me, let me bring this up here. You go to the gear icon, then you go to account and settings. And when you go to the left hand side, you want to go to advance under chart of accounts. You see enable account numbers, click on the pencil to the left and then check enable account numbers and show account numbers and click save and once you've done that you can click done and let's go to the chart of accounts now there's a place to put account numbers on the left hand side and with this pencil here if you click on it you can do batches batch numbers now, I will provide you with a sample, um, let's see, it's right here, a sample chart of accounts, because you have to remember the chart of accounts is composed of these five words, your assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, and expenses. You have to remember that. So here, you read it going down. So here are your assets, you use numbers that start with the one and I usually use four numbers I think that's more than enough and then going down to your liabilities starts with a two your equity is a three your revenues is a four and then your cost of goods are fives and then your expenses are six and seven okay so I will link this sample chart of accounts below for you now if once you've set it up, you'll be able to view reports in a nice, clean, 
you'll be able to view reports in a nice clean way like here and I really like this it makes it much easier on the eyes you may prefer to use accounts you may not prefer to use accounts it's a preference but I certainly like to use accounts because it, to me it's it's nice it looks better on reports I hope that you like this video if you do please give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to's, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.